hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video in this video i am showcasing this executor it's called kernel it's a really good executor so first of all just go to your browser then type in kernel.place if the site does not work or it comes up with a different error message just use a vpn I'm going to use the latest version because it has really nice UI. So I'm just going to press download. Then we're just going to press show in folder. Now we're just going to double click it. Once it's loaded, if it actually says we can't connect to these servers, just use a VPN. I use TunnelBear. Our VPN has loaded, I'm just going to turn it on and then just reload the kernel downloader. This won't happen on most computers, it's only if you used a VPN in the first time. As you can see, it's installed. It won't take that long. And now it's launched. As you can see, it has a very nice UI. So you can just press a new tab to actually execute any script. Kernel is a very good executor and it actually can run 99% of the scripts. It does have a key. I would probably rate it about a 7 out of 10, but if it did not have a key, it would definitely be a 10 out of 10. To edit the scripts, you can just go to the file and then just press open kernel file and then you can actually see the scripts. There is a lot of good community scripts, including dex and infinite yield. Those are very good scripts. You can actually see when we click on a script, it comes up in recents. That's just how the recents work. We have attach and all of these options. We have auto attach, auto launch, always on top, and a FPS unlocker. Basically, the auto attach basically just auto attaches to the game auto launch launches the kernel system when you join the game i can actually show you how all always on top works basically if i turn it on and open my browser it will actually still show if i turn it off and open my browser again it will not show as it is under the browser we also have all of these options, they're pretty self-explanatory. We also have the code map, it basically just allows you to see how big your code is and what sections you are at of it. It's really useful when you're coding. But that guys is all for this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and peace out guys, bye bye.